Hello and welcome to the Battlefield 3 Top Plays. In today's episode we're going to be taking a look at some of the longest range sniping clips that I've had sent in recently to the inbox. Starting out it's Big E1293. He is renowned as one of the best snipers in the franchise and he will pull off these clips in every single game Battlefield 3, 4, 1 and 5. This is of course Battlefield 3 though and that is a 1200 meter snipe on an attack helicopter. Here we go again, this time 1,100 meters, nailing it with an absolutely perfect headshot. Moving on, it's Bruno Santos, and I do have a question for you. Usually, whenever I see a clip that is slightly shady, and I'm not too sure whether the person's using some sort of exploit or, at the very worst, a cheat and some third-party software, I tend to not include them. This one though, it seems completely possible. He's aiming at players that are spotted, he's shooting them because he knows on the reticle exactly where to aim, that's completely fine. But just something about the clip, and the fact that he sent three clips from exactly the same spot on Caspian Border Battlefield 3, it just... I don't know. I think it's probably fine, I like to give players the benefit of the doubt, but do let me know down below. You always know me, I tend not to include clips if I'm not sure, and if I'm not sure, I let you know. I'm not going to start opening up the top plays to cheaters because that simply isn't right. This though, it could be a legitimate clip and either way it does look pretty damn impressive. This final one is probably the pick of the bunch as he just nails players at this long range. Headshots as well for the majority of these shots which is absolutely insane. If that's legitimate, well, that's just incredible. Strictly not a sniping clip because, yes, it's a tank, but the range that he manages to get is incredible. Jesus is one of the best players in Battlefield, and look at that. He actually hits two air vehicles, the jet in the distance and the helicopter. We watch it again, just enjoy this absolutely incredible tank clip. Back to the sniper rifles and it's a Sendo Bina. He's on the roof here looking for three pilot snipes in a row. Yes, three pilot snipes. Now, of course, you're not going to see any jet snipes on this map. You are going to see the scout helicopter, a full house. There's a load of enemy players in there. He takes a couple of snipes to get his eye in, but then absolutely nails it. Skipping forward in the clip just a tad, he actually gets himself another very nice snipe. He did send in another clip, this time we're looking at Noshar Canal, sitting overlooking the water here just searching for a snipe on that enemy pilot, takes him out and then for good measure destroys the other occupants of the vehicle as well. Absolutely insane. Archer's coming in with a slightly unusual clip playing on Operation Metro. He's going for a semi-auto sniper rifle clip with this QBU. Sure, the video does state it's long-range sniping, but as you know, Battlefield 3 doesn't actually have that many people sending in clips anymore, which is such a shame, and I wanted to get this episode out as people were sending in clips, it's unfair to keep them waiting for more than two or three weeks. So I've chucked in a couple of clips through this episode, all Battlefield 3, but they're not all long-range sniping clips. My apologies for that. Hopefully, Battlefield 3 will see a resurgence and we'll get some more players sending in clips. But for now, you'll have to make do with these epic infantry clips, albeit with a sniper rifle. Archer coming in with that really nice kill streak. Black Scorpion's next, playing with the F2000, racing through the corridors of Zebra Tower, hip-firing some people on the stairs. A nice streak, this one. Absolutely insane looking map. Zebra Tower is one of the classics. And in fact, I'd say that this is one of the maps that I hope gets remade in a future modern Battlefield game. There's something about it, just the aesthetic of the whole map. It really makes me smile.
Tristan of Numenos next. This is going to be an Operation Metro clip. Yes, of course, he's using the M16A3, probably the most popular weapon on the game, blasting through the enemy players on this classic backrange. The return of Scream and two clips. The first is going to be a shotgun clip on Operation Metro. Yes, it's the Spaz-12, and this is an awesome clip. A little bit of a glitch there in the Matrix, but it doesn't matter. He manages to get himself a whole load of kills behind this section of lockers as the enemies just don't know how to deal with him. You'd think at least one of them would try and shoot back. They eventually do, and he gets taken down. The next clip is the M4-16 Noshar Canals and a really accurate infantry play. Eva würde ich jetzt nicht feiern. Und der Piet oder was? So. Oh, ich laufe aber mit rechts noch hierher. Was schon? Ascendo Bina did actually send in another clip. This one, though, not with the sniper, of course. He's playing with the AEK on a bit of Saint Crossing, getting a very satisfying infantry kill streak. It can be a complete cluster. This map. It can be very difficult to push but if you have a player like Urbina who's not afraid to use the smoke to his advantage and push through the enemy lines you're gonna do all right a really nice spray down switching out to his secondary when required and then a couple of kit switches One final long-range snipe for your viewing pleasure. It's Big E1293, and I'm not certain if I've featured this clip before. To be honest, they start to blur into one, but he did send me in another clip pack, and I remember having one fairly similar to this in the past. Even so, well worth watching again, as he shows you exactly what it takes to be an insane long-range sniper. And finishing off today's episode, it's one of the best infantry clips. We've had some really, really skillful clips in today's episode, some awesome infantry plays as well. This is Resh playing on Nushar Canals, a real arena to test your skills out on Battlefield 3. And he goes on an absolute rampage with this AEK. A slightly longer clip, about two minutes in total, but well worth watching for any infantry fans out there just dominating enemy players.
thanks for watching this episode of the Battlefield Top Plays. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below. If you didn't, feel free to leave a dislike. You can find the players' channels in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.